it's not what you were thinking. We fixed it. Mm. Did I mention she's gonna start? Hey everybody, Mikey Wrench Mike and Lola here. Yep, we are in the back of the Barbie car, the 1993 Geo Tracker that helped blow up the channel and we are happy to tell you it's due for a cleaning. It smells like a litter box in this place. It smells worse than your other end, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's bad. It is really bad. So today we're going to vacuum. We're going to sweep, mop, bucket wash, power wash, <laughs> detox, and clean everything we can clean to get the cat pee out of this car. All right, we're gonna have some fun, but we are certainly going to get dirty, right? She says, right, let's get to work. You really have to be kidding me, right? See all the little pistons? Mine, it looks like snow. <laughs> I'm flooring a V12 engine. You thought this was gonna be perfect, right? Why can't I, like, fall in love with a Lexus? Monkey. Monkey. Wrench. Wrench. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm say... in the car. Before we get to cleaning, I wanna show you the before pictures. Look at this, okay? We are still tracing all kinds of things, but look at this. Look at this place. This is so messed up and so gross, and the smell in here is so bad, I just, I don't like to even sit down in the seats, okay? They're, I don't even know what's under the seats. I've never even flipped those seats back, so I don't know what lies underneath that. Ugh, we'll have to figure that out. I don't even know. I don't know how to work these, um, but here we go. Now we're making it work. Okay, what do these even look like? Okay, oh! Well, they match with all kinds of stains. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first things first, we'll get the seats out and then we will take a look at what lies beneath. And I'm not expecting great things. I'm, I'm really, I'm not, because this is horrible. This is a terrible place to be right now. So excited about what is about to happen next in the video i forgot to show you the end result of the cleaning so this is completely out of sequence you're not going to believe what happened next but first take a look at this interior look at this we still have to put all of this together but look at the carpets look at the center console everything looks so much better look at the seats they're gorgeous baby and look back there Yes, they look really, really good. I know you cannot see a lot because of the lighting, but everything is a hundred times better than it was, and it doesn't smell like cat urine anymore because I have that ozone machine. So, look at the back. Look at the carpet. That's gorgeous. I even cleaned this part of it too. So we'll give you a better tour in the video that's coming up, but I just had to come out here really quickly and show you the end result of all of my hard work because I, I, something happened and it just changed the whole direction of the video. <laughs> You're about to find out, but look how much nicer everything is. This is beautiful and this is something that would make Barbie very, very happy. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt our regularly scheduled detailing process to bring you an update. We fixed it. 
I think we fixed the car. I think she's going to start. I'll tell you how after you listen to her start, because she's going to start. Did I mention she's going to start? Here we go in three, two, one. Look at that, folks. Woohoo! Yes! She sounds great. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Listen to her purr. That's the sound of happiness right there. Oh, and stinkiness. Whew, she's got a stinky exhaust. Oh my gosh. All right, let me tell you what happened. All right, pay close attention. We're gonna explain what happened. This right here, under this little ball right here, there is one fuel injector. Your fuel comes in here and the injector has like a screen on top and a screen on bottom and I thought, what if the screens are clogged? So the screen on top, I think it's the intake and the screen on bottom maybe spits it out or something. I don't know. I cleaned the screens with the carb cleaner and she works. She runs. Holy crap. Can you imagine? Mm, we fixed it. You and me and everybody that had a comment. I got to do it again. I got to do it again. I, I, I just have to. Okay. You want some more of this? You want some more goodness? Here we go. One more time. Holy crap. Holy crap a cola. Give me a beat. She sounds so good. She sounds amazing. So you know what that means. She gets an oil change. <laughs> and a transmission fluid change and a power steering fluid change and a bath and some paint and 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 anything else I could think of yes we are going to give her an oil change and yes we are going to tell everybody what's in the box oh I also got to tell you what's in the little box it's not what you were thinking no that no that would be a yeah that <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you what's in the little box. We have, because this is going to be a very inexpensive restoration, hopefully, we have an oil filter. Guess what? It's the same size as the MG Midget, the exact same oil filter. So I have a new oil filter. I have all kinds of oil here for this. We're going to change the transmission fluid, which I have transmission fluid from the uh, old uh, F-150. Dex 3 Merc, that's going to be perfect. It also goes in the power steering. And just moments ago, we received more boxes. What's in this box? Well, this is the water pump. So we're going to put that on. We have a new thermostat. And perhaps most importantly, we have the timing belt and the seals which you're going to keep this car running for a long, long, long time to come. Let's see what they feel like. Oh, this is heavy. Okay, this is the adjuster. I have oil seals for the cam and the crank. And I have one very nice timing belt. So, without further ado, Let's get our hands dirty. We're making a lot of progress already using the starter method. We have loosened the crank bolt down there. The cam bolt is loose as well. So we're gonna take this off, take the belt off, take this off, take the timing tensioner off, loosen up this little nut right here, and we should be good to go to replace all kinds of things. And Alexa keeps turning on my radio. Got my Robin Thicke radio on Pandora going. We'll get this all naked, and then we'll show you what she looks like. We have one camshaft seal replaced. Yes, we use my favorite method of getting the old one out. I just have so much fun when I do this. I don't know why. When it goes right, it's beautiful. Okay, this one was leaking a little bit. The main liqueur is here, right there. Let me back it up a little bit. Yeah, see how much is coming out of that? So we'll use the same method. Drill a small hole. Use a little wood screw, pop it out, put the new one in with some oil, uh, bang it up, 
bang it up real good so it's flush with the bolt and then we'll clean this up and we'll replace everything okay after that this comes out this is your water pump yeah this is this is I don't know if this is original but yeah this is a mess all right the water pump is now removed we're going in for a closer look there you go it looks pretty good to me I want to tell you though I think the car sat for a long long time because this is what came out see look at that focus 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 there you go yeah can you see the line of the rust where the water just kind of sat right there for a long time so this little girl hasn't been on the road for a while or at least this hasn't been turning for a while anyway we will get the new one installed woo, 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 and then we'll continue on this pleasant journey yeah i'm not having any problems so far hopefully i didn't just curse myself um but yeah it's going back nicely so very nicely we are making so much progress i do want to show you one beautiful timing belt look how clean it is tight it is good to go we are in perfect timing we have the water pump installed right here i've even fixed this is the timing belt cover okay i've even there was a big hole right here and so i had a uh, one of those rubber bumper melting things so i have fixed that so that is nicely encapsulated that's a good word for that we're oh I do want to show you Beamer and Benzo came over to see me. Hey, Quackies! Quack, quack, quack. There you go. Yep. It's almost time for them to go to bed. Actually, I open the door to their little cage, well, their pen, I like to say, and they walk right inside. Yeah, maybe I put some food in there too sometimes. Anyway, they are trained perfectly, as is this little Barbie, Barbie car. Oops. Okay, we're also changing the thermostat because this, look at that, that's a mess. Yeah, this has been on there for a long time. See, look at this. That is gross. So we're going to change this too, then we'll get all this part buttoned up. Then I'm going to drain the oil, put in my new, well, the oil filter that is for Millie. I have three or four of those things and we'll put some uh, transmission fluid in her and we'll put some power steering slash transmission fluid in there and then we're going to give her a start okay so i will do this kind of off camera because i don't know you guys let me know do you like it when i do these little time lapses where you see me just go crazy and do all these little things real fast or do you just like it when it kind of fades in and fades out and there it is it's fixed i don't know let me know in the comments and does the timing look correct? It looks perfect to me. Remember, I put a little silver there, a little silver there, a little silver there, and a little silver right there. And she looks wonderful. What were you saying? What were you saying? You guys like my work? You going to go for a ride? Now they don't want to talk. Okay, we'll be back. All right, very quickly, let me show you what is in the box. Yep, remember this box? This is it right here, teeny tiny box from eBay, cost me $14. What do you think this could be, huh? Do you have any idea what this could be? Let me get these little, right here, right here. A lot of folks thought it was something for the distributor. Nope, Mike was actually going to dig into the ECU. These are the resistors, no, I'm kidding. These are the capacitors right there. Look at that. Yes, a lot of times these get old and they quit working, capacitating, <laughs> and they know worky work and you get no gassy gas at the injector. But mine are fine apparently, so I'm going to save these. Or if you have a tracker and you'd like some free capacitors, some capacitation, let me know and I'll send them to you. But that is what was in this little box right here. Well, the ducks want to call it a night. They want to go to sleep. It is dark outside. I'm trying to teach them to eat June bugs because that is what I'm terrified of. And yep, that's poop right there on the floor. Thank you guys and gals. This is buttoned up pretty much, okay? I just put this on because I'm very confident in my timing abilities. We're gonna give the car a start. We're gonna put our oil in here. We've got a new uh, filter on there. I do want to show you what came out though, and this is concerning. Hi, you see me there? 
See the little swirl marks? There were some glops, and glops are not good. So, I don't know if we have a head gasket issue or not, but there were certain which was really, really, really gross. So, we're gonna put some, uh, oh, this is nice how you guys put the, well, that's great. I guess they got a little holder. You put everything right on top of the, okay, well, here we go. Okay, we're gonna put oil in and we're gonna give her a turn. You wanna see what's inside there? Have I even done this yet? Have I shown you this? I haven't even looked myself. What do you see? Anything good? Anything terrifying? If I could find my flashlight, I'd show you a little more. We'll get the oil in and we'll give her a start. Are you ready? This is the lousiest looking garage. This is horrible. I look terrible. The garage is terrible. It smells like duck poo. I gotta clean everything. I gotta clean my life up. Yes, all right, I am confident it's gonna work. What do you think? Yes, no? Um, we can't run it long because there's not a whole lot of radiator fluid in there and, oh, well, we'll do that later. Okay, I was thinking about power steering fluid. I see more and more duck poo. All right, let's just see what's gonna happen here. We're gonna say a little prayer, turn the key. And hopefully she's alive. Here we go. Three, two, one. What do you think? I think she sounds pretty good, don't you? You want to do it one more time? Let's just do it one more time. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. All right, well, she runs. Does she drive? <laughs> That will be determined tomorrow in the next video. She stumbled a little bit, didn't she? Yeah, that was um, something new. So if you are a Suzuki expert, let me know. I think the timing is just is right on. Um, I don't know. We're just going to have to see. All right, folks. I wish I looked better. I hate to do this to you, but here we go. Ah, all right. That's going to wrap up another video on the Barbie car. In the next one, we will finish our work on the timing, the water pump, the belts, the radiator, power steering fluid, transmission fluid, and anything else I can think of. There is one grounding wire that's like way, 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 way off. In fact, you know what that could be? If maybe that was one of the problems because I got a grounding wire right here that's not really grounded. Maybe that was it. Okay. I have another one under the uh, intake that I'm trying to figure out what to do with it because it's, it's a bear to get there. Yeah, it is. So thank you very much for watching. We're back with another video very, very soon. And have a great day, everybody. Okay. Woo, 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 woo. Have a good one. <laughs>